Hey guys, uh, I wanted to do a follow-up video to my uh, Arduino add-on video and also uh, this should serve as a demo of how I test my boards that I actually sell online. So um, in regards to my Arduino add-on bar, uh, this is useful mostly for when I have uh, lots of different boards with lots of different options or different hardware configurations or they need to be tested at different parameters uh, firmware wise. So that's where this uh, add-on bar is uh, best suited, right? Because you can choose the board that you want right here or the most commonly used boards and also quickly switch between the serial ports. Uh, otherwise you normally have to go through this boards menu which can get really long if you have lots of packages, lots of boards, and then every time you have a USB uh, for instance board then you'd have to choose a different board because it would generate a different port this is probably not the best option when you have lots of different boards uh, with the same hardware configuration so same board same uh, radio for instance uh, flash chips and so on so all these boards right here need to get the same program uploaded to them so for that purpose um, I'm actually using AVR dude which makes it even faster uh, so I have pre-compiled sketches right here for all the different commonly uploaded uh, sketches that I have and then for each one of those I have a batch file uh, which looks something like this it simply invokes AVR dude with uh, the Arduino protocol this is for AVR boards uh, and it targets uh, either the 328p or the 1284p and this is um, on a fixed COM port at a fixed baud rate and then this option actually cuts the upload time in half I believe in the IDE the upload always verifies so it uploads it and then it reads it back so that that takes long but with AVR dude I can just invoke this uh, minus V option and this will skip verification it'll just upload and then the last option is the actual hex file that uh, I want uploaded let's first do a quick overview and demo of how I would actually use the add-on bar and I'm gonna take this uh, Motino USB this has a HCW uh, RFM 69 950 megahertz uh, no flash and I'm simply going to plug it into the USB. That's going to generate a port, a new port right away over here. So uh, let me choose my board. I chose my port and I'm ready to upload. I need to actually change my receiver right here to match the frequency. So this is now starting to upload. And as soon as that's ready, the receiver starts receiving and I know this board is functional. Now I need to switch to a different uh, MCU type, a different board. And again, the COM port is generated. I can click on the different board, uh, pretty much same settings, click upload. And that's pretty useful, uh, it's pretty quick. But of course, the overhead of compiling the, the board will take some time. And that's uh, slower and also does the verification every time. But it's pretty quick. It's actually better than actually going through the menus and so on. So that's where this add-on actually uh, shines and it's uh, making uh, it easier, quicker to switch between boards. Again, uh, I should have mentioned in my previous video that the add-on is actually for development more than actual production testing. So um, that's where it's more useful, in my opinion. Now, let's try to illustrate how I actually do production testing. Um, so I have a bunch of 433 megahertz radios right here, uh, just a few 915. I have some uh, LoRa radios right here, and then uh, let's see, this is from here. So my receiver right now is uh, for the 915 megahertz. So I'm simply going to place my uh, target board into my Pogo Jig uh, tester and I need to simply run this program. 
and that's gonna reset the board and start uh, uploading the program and that board is good ready to go let's skip to the next one again I need to invoke my AVR dude command line and this is just doing the upload it's not doing the verification and again the board is uh, transmitting all good let's do these two and another good board so when I do these uploads my main concern here is that I can actually upload the program that all the peripherals that I care for like the LED and the flash are working and that uh, most importantly the the radio module is uh, actually transmitting and I can both uh, transmit to my receiver and then the receiver will periodically uh, request ACKs back from this so both receive and transmit are tested. Now let me switch the board to uh, LoRa 915 megahertz LoRa and those guys are these so again I'm just gonna plug in my board here this has been previously programmed but uh, anyway we'll just do it again there's a different batch program for that upload is slightly faster and there we go it's it's a good board let's do that again oops what did I do wrong okay again and all these boards are good now I have a larger batch of boards right here these are 433 megahertz RFM 69 so again I need to switch my receiver uh, to the proper one that matches these modules and I'm again just simply gonna take my uh, target board notice these have the flash radio and uh, I also want to test that that's included in the sketch by default so I need to invoke this one notice when the upload is, is done um, on the receiving side I'm also gonna read the, the flash uh, memory ID so the sketch is reading the ID from the flash and it's transmitting that as part of uh, part of the first packet so I'm just gonna do that for all these all these boards that's pretty pretty quick it's much faster than using the IDE actually let's use the IDE and see how long it takes for um, for it right here I need to comment out this option and it's ready to go see how long it takes to switch from compiling a different board it has to reset all the compile options and then uh, there's a bunch of overhead and then finally it does the upload and also the verification so that took quite a bit longer right but it's about the same thing the same result so I'm just gonna use the command line for the rest of these Okay, so that's the last board, and uh, I just tested about uh, two or three dozen boards uh, in a very uh, short amount of time. Uh, I use the command lines again, that's good for production. The, the add-on in the IDE is good for development and just uh, switching between lots of different boards, lots of different options, different parameters. Uh, it saves some time there. Uh, lots of different options could be added here to actually make the IDE faster and skip some of these uh, recompile options every time because uh, if I just compile the same sketch again and again uh, without changing a single uh, character in the sketch you notice there's a few seconds of overhead and there's uh, compilation stuff that goes behind the scenes 
Uh, with AVR Dude, obviously that doesn't happen. I just invoke AVR Dude program, which uploads the, uh, the hex file, and I have the option to not verify after the upload. So that makes it a lot quicker to upload a program to a board that I simply want to test a few peripherals. I don't need to verify the upload. Um, so there we go. That's how I test boards. I hope this clarifies some of the confusion for the for the add-on. Uh, this is not going to work for everybody in all the scenarios, but uh, at least for me, it's, it's helpful. Okay, so uh, thanks guys for watching. Um, you can give me a thumbs up if you liked this video or found it useful and also subscribe for future videos. Catch you next time.